Gonzo has returned in a much more awesome format. Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spiders. I need to say this up the front of the video so people don't come back and complain to me they got scared when they saw a spider. I think I've stumbled across the unluckiest spider in the world. If I get my hand in there, get it moving into the sun, we might see. Oh, there's another weird thing there. What the? What is that? That's a dynamic duo of weirdness. I think that spider's missing quite a few legs and it's just going to possibly disappear down the crack. Oh no, it's coming back up. Count the legs on that if you can. And then ponder what's gone on there, hey? Has it been in some epic battle and only just scurried away of its life? We'll let it go off into its own little misery down there and we'll come back to this. What is that? Okay, that's a very, very unusual looking beetle type thing. I've never seen anything with such beautiful colouring. You know what, I think that's actually a gonzo. Uh, look at the, the muzzle on that there. Is that some giant weevil or something? It's got a gonzo -y face. Have I found Gonzo's Return to the Planet in a much more awesome format? Well, I remember with Gonzo, Gonzo had wings and Gonzo was awesome because, well, Gonzo looked like a rock now. That is reminding me of Gonzo a lot, especially those, face, those facial features because, well, Gonzo's little face looked like the, the critter from the Muppets. That is Gonzo, of course. I'll be honest here, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, very beautiful to look at, and to me it looks awesome because it looks like Gonzo. I've just rolled it onto its back so I can see the um, stunning underneath of this critter. It's having trouble writing itself. And if I come in and give it a hand, you also see the scale of it there. It's only a little thing. Come on across you go. Come on little bud. Oh, he's on me now. And there we go. You can get a much better look at this thing. It's extremely stunningly beautiful. And a gentleman did pass me by and said it was a style of beetle, but he said he has not seen many of these. Okay, so uh, yeah, I have to concur with that thought. I have not seen many of these as well. And now it's my uh, new best friend. You're lucky I haven't got the spider tape because you'd be perfect spider food in my mind. I'm sort of wondering whether this little critter can fly. Um, if it is a beetle, it will have wings tucked away there. I just keep thinking back to, oh, here we go. Wings deploying. It's got a, a gonzo reaction as well. Come on, little critter, let's see you fly. You're becoming quite famous. Uh, I want to see you fly. Uh, look at that face. That's a snuzzle of gonzo. It's quite a strange little critter to have uh, crawling on my hand here. It's got a bit of a, what, clawy sort of feel. You know the way beetles have those clawy feet? But then again, it might be a weevil. Well, because I don't know what I'm looking at, the audience will end up telling me because I'm not an entomologist, as you all know. I'm just trying to induce uh, some flight action here, get those wings deployed. Because that might be totally awesome. I'm sure it's going to look even more like Gonzo once those wings come out. Now, I had the gentleman tell me it was a type of beetle. You know, the more I look at this, it's like a giant weevil because well, apparently Gonzo was a weevil. Okay, now I'm trying to, well, I don't know the difference between a weevil and a beetle. Maybe it's all the same thing, because I have got no idea what I'm looking at here. It's also the area where I picked up the giant green prey mantis that became the most awesome redback spider battle. Come on, I want to see you fly. Get those wings out. If I induce some movement here, maybe we'll get a bit of wing action. It's playing a little bit hard to get on um, Gonzo Mark II. Come on, I want to see them wings. Wow, so it feels it feels like a rock. I'm starting to feel this thing. It actually feels it's got the same feeling as Gonzo. That is like you know a rock of legs. I'll just get this onto a plant, and it'll be problem. Well, it doesn't want to go on the plant. It wants me. Okay, I'm like the new dad. Well, it's not wanting to um, go onto this plant. Hmm, does it want to come home with me? I don't think so. I want to really get it back here somewhere. Get it crawling on a plant and we might see it in nature. Here we go. Oh, that's a bit better. Yes, uh, quite a wondrous little critter. 
Very wondrous actually, uh, very much feels like Gonzo, looks like Gonzo. Maybe the, the biggest difference about that critter there is it's much larger than Gonzo. It's about three or four times the size of the most awesome Gonzo. Just a shame I couldn't ingest any flight and the feel of this critter here definitely has the same feel of Gonzo. It feels like a rock when you touch this, very, very rough to the touch. Mm. Yeah, very unusual, and I've just noticed uh, in this plant here, there's actually spider webs, so I hope uh, little Gonzo Mark II can escape the plant alive, because, well, spiders kill bugs. I'll tell you one thing that is very similar to Gonzo and that critter, it's quite indecisive. Uh, Gonzo had a certain style about its thought patterns that really made it the Gonzo. Anyway, stay safe, little one. Uh, be very, very careful, because nature can be very, very deadly especially for little things like you. That was an epic little find on my morning walk. A very strange spider, it seemed to be missing lots of legs. Do you know what name we give a spider like that? We call it Lucky. Lucky it's got four legs. Sorry, it's an old joke I know. That beetle, I got worried when the gentleman had passed by and he said, I don't see many of those around. I'm thinking maybe it's endangered and put my fingers in the air there. Uh, mm, it had a lot of traits of Gonzo, the feel. The schnozzle look as its nose, the way its wings worked as well, except it was oversized and it was more beautiful than Gonzo. Gonzo never had that glorious aqua color. Gonzo looked like a rock, although that beetle didn't, you know, didn't ball up like a rock. Very unusual. Entomology, the study of little critters like that, extremely complex subject. I'm never gonna be that high end to get my head around it, but I know some of my audience are and they're gonna explain all this to me. Good luck. I know there's going to be many people who will be puzzled and I say, what are you talking about this Gonzo thing? What's Gonzo? Gonzo is a Muppet. Yes, Gonzo is a Muppet. Muppets are pretty cool when they're not people, but Gonzo was a little critter I had in the spider tank back in week five. A very good week to look at if you want to get into the spider tank. Lots of things happened in that week and the magical Gonzo showed us his ultimate flair in a spider tank. Many people who watched my Redback Spider Tank study say the spirit of Gonzo is going to come back and reap revenge on the Redback Spiders. You know what? I'm never going to argue with that idea because what I have worked out over the many years that I've been on YouTube, my audience tend to always be correct. Apart from the trolls, of course.